Okay, in this video we're going to estimate floor joists. So, uh, for my um, problem that I'm going to work out, we're just doing a basic ranch style, 60 by 30. Uh, we're going to put the beam down the middle, so it's at 15 feet. Um, since lumber comes in two foot increments, you could go 14 and 16. If you wanted to offset it, depend you know what goes on underneath, if you have a basement or whatever. But I'm going to put it right down the middle. Okay, um, so we're going to figure out how many floor joists it's going to take and what size floor joists we're going to need. Okay, so let's figure out how many we need and then we'll figure out what size they are. Okay, so to figure out how many we're going to need, we're going to take this number right here, it's 60 feet, because our floor joists are going to go this way. So we're going to take 60 feet and we're going to multiply it times 12. We're going to kind of just convert it into inches. So 2 times 0, that's 12, 0, 0, 6. So we have 720 inches of length that we have to cover up with floor joists. Okay. So we're going to take our 720 and we're going to divide by 16 inches on center. So we're going to put our 16 inches on center, which gives us a total of 45 joists. Okay. Now, the way this works is it starts at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and goes all the way to 45. So what we have to do is we have to add one for the beginning. So we're going to add one. That gives us 46 floor joists. Okay, that's on one side. Since I'm going to need the same on the other side, I'm going to multiply that number by 2. And I get a total of 92 floor joists. Okay. That does not, include, does not include the header joist or the rim joist, whichever one you want to call it, on either side, and it does not include the beam. Okay, this is just the floor joist. So we need 92 floor joists. So we'll put that over here. So I'll erase this other. Okay, so we have 92 floor joists. Now we got to figure out how big the floor joists need to be. All right. So for that, we're going to need a set of floor, floor joist span data. Okay, you can get this online. Um, so what you're going to look at is how strong do you want your floor? So here we have 30 PSI live, 10 PSI dead. The species over here is Douglas fir or larch. Then it goes to 40 PSI and 10 Douglas fir. Then it comes down here to 30 PSI southern pine and 40 PSI southern pine. And then redwood down here on the bottom, which we're not going to use for our floor joists. Okay. So what's important is that you go to your, call your lumber yard and find out what species of wood that they have because all species of wood are not made the same. Okay, some are stronger than others. So you have to know what species that your lumber yards is selling so that you can figure out what this is um, used based on that. Okay, so we're going to use, uh, let's say, we'll say we're going to use the Douglas fir. Okay, so our Douglas fir, and we're going to have a strong floor, so we're going to go with the PSI 40 and 10 dead. Um, so, if you don't know what uh, the difference is, you have a live load and you have a dead load. Okay, um, this is per they're pretty kind of self-explanatory. A live load is anything that's going to move. Okay, so if you're going to put a a sofa out here in the middle of the floor. That would be considered a live load, okay? Um, your dead load would be considered uh, what your flooring, 
all right? Because once you put it in place, it doesn't move until you replace it, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later. So it's considered a dead load. So this is something that does not move. Okay, so the live load moves and the dead load does not load, uh, does not move. Okay, all right, so first of all, we have to figure out what is the distance from here to here. Well, you'll say, oh, it's 15 feet. But no, we don't want the 15 feet, okay? That is the span, or the, what they consider half of the span, so that would be your total run, but what we need is the clear span. So you have a wall, and the wall, and the beam stretches across there, the floor joist, you want the distance from here to here, okay? It doesn't matter how much is overhanging on either side, but we do have to take it, we have to figure out what's in between these two, okay? So on the outside, you have the wall, a foundation wall, and then you're going to have you, uh, two by six green, can't spell green, treated sill. Okay, you got two by six green treated sill, and you have a rim joist on there, um, or maybe a double. With something that that long, you're going to splice it together, so it may be a double. So you've got you got your about three inches right there, okay? And then on the inside, you got a post and then you got a beam. So the beam can be made a couple of different ways. You could um, have a three member beam like this with a ledger on it. Um, so you have the distance then from here to there. And we need the clear distance. We need the distance from here to there. Okay. So on the inside, if this is centered on the house, we've got an inch and a half for the center. We have three quarters on that side. And then we, it's sitting on this ledger board, which is another inch and a half. Okay. So that's three and three quarter inches. On this side that we we got to take off, and then on this side we have three inches on the outside, so that's six and three quarters. So we have 15 feet total run minus that's feet. So we got to subtract off six and three quarter inches. So that's uh, 14 feet five and a quarter inches is our clear span. Okay. So we're going to look on our look on our chart here and see where 14 feet 5 and a quarter falls, okay? And we've got to go on 16 inches on center. So if we have 16 on center, 2 by 8 won't work. Uh, if we're using a number 2 we're at 13 feet 3 inches, and uh, if we're using a number 2 lumber, we'd have to go with a 2 by 12, which is 17 feet 10 inches. Okay, so a 2 by 12 maximum is 17 feet 10 inches. So we're at 14 feet 5 and a quarter inches, so we would have to use a 2 by 12, 16 inches on center. We would use a Douglas fir. And it's a, um, it's a number two construction lumber, okay? So when you order, you have to get this specifically. You got to get a two by twelve, and it's got to be 
um, 16 footers. So, so 16 foot, two by 12, 16 inches on center. It's going to be Douglas fir. It's going to be a number two construction lumber. So that would tell you how many and how big. So this is the amount, and this then would be the size that you would have to buy to span this distance. Okay. All right. 